The modern history of Botswana is closely linked to the story of diamonds. The visionary and leadership of the three Dukosi, Botswana traditional leaders, in 1870 paved the way for the country's independence in 1966. His Excellency, Sir Seretsakama, the first president, saw that the potential of diamonds would not be realized without a long-term vision for national benefit. In 1982, the BDVC sorting building, known as Orapa House, was opened in Khaburoni and was the tallest and most sophisticated building in Botswana at the time. BDVC later became the Diamond Trading Company Botswana, or DTCB. In 2008, DTCB opened the largest and most sophisticated rough diamond sorting and valuing facility in the world. Diamond Trading Company Botswana is a 50-50 joint venture partnership between the government of the Republic of Botswana and DBS. DTC Botswana aims to facilitate, drive and support the creation of a vibrant, sustainable and profitable downstream diamond industry in Botswana. This tightly secure building has the capacity of sorting and valuing up to 45 million carats per year and is able to accommodate up to 600 employees. The main purpose of the company is to sort and value diamonds optimally and responsibly. When diamonds arrive from the Debswana mines, the import department at DTCB sorts the diamonds into different categories according to their carrot, cut, clarity and color, collectively known as the four C's. The initial task is to weigh the diamonds to ensure a match to what Debswana would have dispatched to DTCB. Once the weights have been validated, the diamonds are then taken to the tech sort area. The tech sort area does about 70% of the sorting work. The tech sort machines sort diamonds into three main categories. Shape, color, and quality. And this is largely done through hand sorting. Once the machines have sorted the diamonds, the remaining 30% of the work is done by highly skilled in-house sorters. They are trained to inspect the diamonds and do the final check of a refined sorting process. Once this has been completed, the diamonds are taken for sales. The sales process is where the key customers, Dibias and Okabango Diamond Company, send personnel to DTCB as buyers. They inspect the diamonds to buy, and only after validating the value of the diamonds can a sale take place. At the export department, they ready the diamonds which have been bought for delivery to DBS and the Okavango Diamond Company, and thereafter shipped out to the rest of the world. The government of Botswana used diamonds to grow the economy through diamond beneficiation, downstream processing of rough diamonds, which were previously exported as rough diamonds and processed elsewhere. The diamond cutting and polishing industry has created over 3,200 industrial jobs. Five decades of growth and high levels of public spending have created a better standard of living for most Botswana. Today, Botswana has one of the largest gross domestic products on the African continent. The foundation stones of this success story were political stability, respect for the rule of law and democratic leadership, drawn from the traditions of Botswana culture in which the will of the people is recognized. It is clear. See for yourself as you stand in the capital city, Khaburone's new CBD district. DTCB and its partners will continue to strive to bring sustainable growth and development to Botswana and its valued customers. Proudly brought to you by DTCB.